guys, it's Kara. Welcome back to Champagne Taste on a Beer Budget. And if you're new, hi, welcome. I'm Kara. I do unboxings and spoilers and TJ Maxx stuff and you know, whatever happens. So uh, today I got my boxy charm. I don't have big man hands, but this is like the size of my hand. This is the smallest boxy charm box that I ever got. Uh, but this is for August, and you probably already know that I do uh, a ton of spoilers for BoxyCharm all the time, so I'm well aware that we all know that we're getting two products for sure, and for the third product there's variation, but let's just dig into it. So, uh, what do we have? Totally boxy. Woo! Um, okay, I have version 9. I have not seen a version 9 um, on um, any of the other unboxings or anything, but um, let's take a look and see what's going on. Um, so, there's some Barbie involved here. Do you see that? There is some Barbie involved here. Um, um, I like Barbie. Um, Forty six years ago, I like Barbie, but I don't believe that Barbie um, should be like on my face or anything. Um, but it is the pure Barbie, glittery pink, brightening peel off mask. And uh, I don't even think too many people got this. Uh, this is just the item that stood out to me in this box when I opened it, to tell you the truth. Uh, this was the one thing that I didn't want. Um, in my list of things I didn't want, um, one would be a black eyeliner and, um, <laughs> It, a black eyeliner would have been tied with the Barbie mask, so um, I don't use peel-off masks because my skin's sensitive, so um, I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the swap site. I'll put a link to that up here. Uh, I did a video on it before. It's a free site. You go to it, you list your subscription box items that you do not want, and then you trade them for things that you do want. And it's worked out for me really, really great before. I was able to um, trade a couple of skincare items and get a couple of serums that I really wanted. So uh, this will be swapped in that video up there. Barbie, well, this box can only get better from here. Um, if I'm wearing weird makeup, uh, I was not planning on filming today. I went to the salon to get um, my roots done. And when I do that, I just grab like a few items in a bag and a couple of eye brushes and a lip thing. And apparently I forgot foundation. I forgot blush. Um, so this is the look today. And I was trying out um, this Long Crime Plushies. And um, this is the Sweet Blends version of it. So we were all running around like maniacs um, trying to find this at TJ Maxx like two months ago. And I hadn't tried it out yet and I tried it out and uh, it's a sheer pressed pigment quad. So I don't really know why we were really all running around trying to find it because it looks like this. Sheer, weird, weird sheer but i'm going with it so let's move on so we have wonder beauty this is the glow head illuminating face oil and um ooh, it has the top that reminds me of the no problem primer essence remember when we got that one so um i like face oils Ooh, pinky maybe that's the theme of the box is pink um, I put on a lot, so let's, let's get rid of some of that, but here we go, it, it 
has ex an extremely, extremely light rose scent. Uh, but if you're sensitive to scents like me, um, it's almost imperceptible. And I love that. I, I love for my skincare to not have a lot of um, strong scents in it. I mean, you, you can barely smell it. And it's not sticky at all. It's it's like it absorbs almost immediately. So that's an interesting product. I like that. I like it a lot. And um, yeah, so um, I'm filming in daylight and you can't always see uh, my skin. So I'm 50 and I've dealt with both melasma and rosacea. So melasma is when you get like the brown blotches. Sometimes people get them here. I've gotten them here. I've gotten them over here. Uh, took a lot of skincare work to um, tone it down. Uh, but when I use certain products, it kicks up my rosacea. And when the rosacea is the red, and the, I always have like a red patch over here. I don't have a magic one here, but for some reason I have one right here. Um, so this is basically me with no makeup and you can't really see too much redness at least i hope you can't because i'm just um uh, extremely careful i don't use peel off masks i don't use setting sprays with fragrance in them i work really hard to just uh try not to let that rosacea kick up so this is it 50 half a century uh, and that's why I'm avoiding the peel off mask. Uh, what else do we have in the box? Stop talking about yourself. Show what's in the box. Uh, the Becca powder. This is the Becca um, Hydra Mist powder. For me, this makes the whole box. When I found out this was going to be in the box, I was really excited. I have used other um, Becca powders and they've been wonderful. So. Uh, there were two shades available and they obviously got mine right. There's a golden bronze and then there's, I guess this is translucent. Um, not, I don't really see it anywhere, but looks fine to me. Uh, but I could use some powder because literally the only thing that I'm wearing on my face is, um, SPF. I threw that on before I went to the salon and oh and it opens like that. Yay! Um, and a tiny bit of this Becca pressed powder which I had no brush for at the salon and I was applying it with my fingers so it's actually a really nice little product. It's very lightweight and very satiny smooth and natural looking. So uh, that's all I have on my face. And that was several hours ago. So, okay, that just happened. It just all kind of jumped out at, oh, oh. kind of jumped out at me. But, uh, I, oh, okay, now it's getting worse. See, I'm so accident prone. Now, why do I do these things? So I'm gonna throw some of this on. I can already feel the cooling effect like on my finger. Ooh, it, it feels wet. <laughs> that, that, is, that is so strange. <laughs> that is the most strange thing. Wow, I wonder how long this wet feeling will last. Like you can, you can feel when the brush touches your face, like the brush feels wet. But very, <laughs> it's so weird. But the uh, coverage is just very light. Aside from the wet feeling, <laughs> it's gonna be a total win for me. <laughs> And then it has the little clothes cap. I like that. Some of the Cover FX powders have that. Love that. Uh, this one's a total win. Okay, stop babbling. Let's get back to the box. I don't remember before. I could have gotten um, a serum, the Peach and Lily serum, or the Tarte Big Ego mascara. Um, I would have preferred the serum because, like I said, I'm 50. I could use uh, some serums and all that. Uh, but 
Tarte, uh, they do have mascara I like. I, I really do like the Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So the Big Ego is newer. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, I will be trying it very, very soon. And uh, if you've gotten this far in the video, um, just a reminder that if you do sign up um, or re-sign up as a charmer, you can get as a bonus the Butter London Natural Goddess Palette. This one's worth $32. And you'll get the Luxie Gaia, Gaia um, three brush set as a bonus. This one's worth... Um, $30, so you get two bonuses if you sign up, whether you're a new charmer or a returning charmer. And the only rule is that if you're a returning charmer, you just have to have uh, canceled before July 1st. And if you were in July, you'd already have these anyways, I guess. Maybe that's the reason. Uh, my link will be down below. Uh, I'd appreciate your support because if you, I'm not an affiliate where I'd receive money from BoxyCharm, but uh, if you do use my link, I get points. I could use the points for giveaways. I could use them to uh, buy stuff for my old lady face. All good. Uh, last thing, I haven't seen many people on Boxies. Why do I have the weirdest box? Uh, I haven't seen many people unbox this. Lash all it. These are luxury lashes, and they come in a cute little box like that. And the name, the name of these is Instaglam. So I don't wear lashes a lot, uh, but they are, they're longer than they are voluminous. So for me, if I'm going to go through the trouble of putting glue on my eyelids, I, I kind of like the benefit of having um, both things going on, of having both the volume and the length. And these look more lengthy than they do volumey. Also, take a look at my uh, boxy pop-up video, because in the boxy pop-up video, um, I show you guys what my haul was. I do have it right right here. So in my boxy pop-up video, um, I showed you my haul that I got, and I also did a little bit of talking about the way I thought uh, boxy pop-up was going to go in the future, and I made a prediction that uh, there would be no boxy pop-up in August, and that has since been confirmed. Joe has said there will not be one in August. And just take a look at that video, because um, Joe was speaking on a previous video um, on an Instagram story maybe, and um, just about how the pop-up went, um, changes they were going to make. Uh, it was it was interesting. So I took notes on everything that he said, and while I showed you guys my haul, I talked about that. And um, not much to see here because I've already shown you guys this stuff, but just a reminder that I got two of the iconic London eyeshadow palettes and these will be in a future giveaway for you guys and I did that because you know I'm I'm well aware that I'm I'm around all the time and I can stock all the web pages and um, blogs or Instagram or whatever social media and try to get this information for you but you guys are probably a lot more busy than I am with real life and you know kids life that kind of thing so um, just be sure to follow me subscribe hit the notification bell too because um, YouTube has changed the notification bell system so you may not get all of the notifications and when the boxy pop-up happened, um, I put it on my community tab and immediately, like as soon as I found out, and um, most people were able to find out really quickly that the pop-up was open. I also do that when Charm Room opens or they add new things. So if you do ring the notification bell, then you not only get notified of these videos, but you also uh, will get notified when I post these little um, messages on the community tab that I think will help people out. You know, like, charm room's open, uh, new items in charm room, etc., etc. 
And to continue on with the self-promotion, um, I've been loading um, a lot of my TJ Maxx videos lately, and lately uh, the big hot thing was that everybody was looking for the Anastasia bronzer. And uh, walking into the store, what's that that manifesta manifestation thing, or like, like you imagine it or you say it out loud and somehow it becomes true? Uh, well, I did that walking into the store today. Like, oh, I want to go in and I want to find man, uh, I want to find Anastasia bronzer and. Bingo! Anastasia Bronzer, TJ Maxx, uh, $10.99. So this will be in a future video. It'll The video will probably be in the next week. Uh, and on the downside of the manifestation thing, uh, my spoiler video said, why is Barbie in my box? But it was a spoiler video, and guess what happened? Barbie came in my box, so... I guess that works both ways, that whole manifestation, speak it out loud and it'll happen. Uh, blah, 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 babbling too much. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you at the next one. I hope your boxy charm was awesome. And let me know down below what you got, what version you got, what your favorite item was in your box. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.